Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the Freshia IFV. This is a currently ranked 7 battle rating 10.0 light tank in the Italian ground forces tech tree, and currently it sits at the bottom of the line beyond even the VCC 8030. Now this vehicle is something that a lot of people might not know why it's so powerful, but it is pretty simple once you know what its ATGMs can do. Essentially, these are spike ATGMs, which means that they are top attack ATGMs, which means that once you fire them, they are essentially fire and forget. They will go up into the sky and attack the enemy tank where it is weakest on top, which means that it will have a much higher success rate, at least in theory, than most other ATGMs. So it's a very, very powerful thing. Plus, I believe it can be launched against aircraft, although, of course, with less success. Now, that said, this otherwise has a 25 millimeter air licking cannon, which is pretty powerful, but not as powerful as the preceding vehicles cannon, the VCC 8030. That had a 30 millimeter Bushmaster, which had something like 20 or 25 millimeters more of armor pen with its best APF SDS shell. So this really isn't going to be getting you anywhere all too much with its cannon, although. Although, of course, you can get a good amount of side kills with it. Ultimately, it is all about these spike missiles. And man, oh man, am I ready to bring this thing out. So that said, let's get into a few matches, see how we could do. But this thing, oh man, I've been waiting for this. And uh, I'm sure many of you guys have too. Let's get into it. Now, you guys might be wondering to yourself, well, this thing is, it sounds overpowered. I mean, spike missiles, if you know anything about them, the day that they came to War Thunder was wanted by many, but feared by many others. So, what the heck is it? Why is this in vehicle or in game right now? And quite honestly, uh, I think it's eh, balanced enough because it can only use two spikes at a time before, of course, needing to reload, which is nice. But also, uh, you know, it, it of course has very little armor. This is something that can be more or less killed uh, by any enemy in the game with ease. Now, you might also be wondering, what about a city map? Wouldn't that just completely and totally annihilate this thing? And, uh, yeah, in many ways it could, but it doesn't always go up for top attack. It largely depends on a few things. Got the kill there. Ooh. Okay. Let's see, can I fire on this guy here? Not entirely sure, but I do want to. Got, oh, can I get him? Oh, there we go. And that's that's the direct fire right there. I do not know what happened. But two quick kills. Somehow I am still alive with three crew members, no less. Also, that ATGM reloads a lot quicker than I expected. So there are a few different ways I've been learning, I think, how to play this vehicle. Because, again, outside of the QN506, I think is it, like the Chinese vehicle, with the top down attack missiles. This is kind of the only one, as far as I know, in game currently. And really, this has by far, in a way, the superior missiles. Spike missiles are way, way better than those were. Um, but let's go ahead and get up here. But I feel like you can use this again in a variety of ways, right? So, first and foremost, I would say mid to long range spike missiles, very good option. Um, but secondly, you could also use the 25mm cannon as a very nice close to, uh, to even mid-range option, of course, because, in my opinion, it actually does quite a bit of damage. So I want to get rid of that. We do have an enemy right there. Okay, let's see. Can I hit him with the spike? I can. Very nice. Got that nice side kill, and that's really what you're going to be wanting to do. So when it comes to this vehicle in particular, right... You're going to need those side shot hits uh, with the 25 millimeter cannon because anything aside from a side or even rear hit is not going to go through the enemy and thus won't be a kill, which is also another thing. When it comes to that 30 millimeter cannon, for example, um, a lot of people might be kind of iffy about it. Like, wait, isn't that going to be a lot worse than, uh, than the 30? Like, the, is the 25 much worse than the 30? Not at all. Um, in my experience, not at all. Okay, we might have a kill here. Let's launch and got a kill. Very fun, very nice. 
No complaints. I am loving these spike missiles. They just go right in for the kill. Very nice. So, as I may or may not have mentioned, yeah, I mean, those 25mm cannon, the 25mm cannon, rather, um, versus the 30, practically speaking, because you're only going to be shooting the sides of vehicle, vehicles, um, I don't think that the 25 is worse. In fact, actually, because it has around three times the rate of fire, it may be better in many instances, especially when it comes to fighting uh, lighter vehicles, like lighter... Um, armor vehicle, so it may be a bit of an advantage to do that. Also, CV90105 kill. Cannot complain. Can I get that? I did! I am on a streak here. Woof! Okay, let's move up and die. So it looks like we may have won this one. The enemy team only has two people remaining. That is extremely unfortunate, but thus far I've gotten four kills, a base cap, and uh, had a whole lot of fun with this vehicle. I mean, it is just excellent. Unfortunately, they are not allowing me to uh, kind of kill them while they're in the air. They're taking themselves out. But again, I mean, this thing has been phenomenal. But uh, yeah, when it comes to that 25mm cannon, I think I actually prefer it over the slower firing, hardly more penning. 30. So I said, let's get into another match, see what we could do, but none too shabby. Would have had three base caps if it did. Oh, I do! Two base caps. None too shibby dibby dabby. Let's get into the next one. So I'm going to try a little bit more of a standoff approach in this match. Uh, you know, going a bit far away from the A point, but obviously still well within the long, long range of the, uh, of the spike missiles, but also decently within range of the 25 millimeter uh, auto cannon, because that can still pen, uh, I would say, lightly armored vehicles at a pretty decent range. So, I mean, at what 1,000 meters, you're looking at 75 millimeters of armor pen, which ain't too shibby dibby dabby. So we have two enemies down here, launching on them independently. Let's hope I can get. One kill, two kills! Ha ha ha! None too bad. Oh, that's how we do, boys. That is how we do. Okay, we have an enemy down there. Got the kill via the 25mm auto cannon, as I suspected. We have someone down here. Another kill via that 25mm auto cannon. A very... This thing can kill you any way it wants. Holy guacamole, that was quick. Okay, we have an enemy there. Had an enemy there. <laughs> I am back. After only a very short period of time of being gone, by the way. And... Ooh! That's obviously bad. Let's go ahead and launch another spike missile. Hopefully that gets him this time. And... It won't! Oh, no! Okay, I, I've been spotted. I am willing to launch even more spike missiles at this guy if it doesn't kill him in a uh, timely manner, which it doesn't look like it is. This is just a very unfortunate scenario. Let's try it again. Fifth time's the charm. I guess I did it twice now. Okay, I finally got the kill! Took six spike missiles, and I think overall that's going to be like the uh, the big problem with this vehicle, right? Like he was obviously signaling no. Sorry about that, buddy. But when it comes down to this vehicle, okay, I just died. But when it comes down to it, the spike missiles are a touch weak. So it's not going to let me show you here, but they only have 110 millimeters of uh, I guess like that's the the size of them, which is a fairly small. Uh, size for a uh, for an ATGM. So while they are tandem charged and they go through over, I think, 700 millimeters of armor at max, uh, the post pen isn't quite there, and I think that's kind of what we were just seeing, at least in part. So I said, let's get into another match, but six real quick kills. This thing is a hoop. So one of the great things about this, I mean, probably the best thing about this vehicle, will be its spike missiles. They are 
I mean, just great top attack. They are uh, straight attack. Pretty much any way that you need them to be, and they will go. Now, unfortunately, they're not perfect, obviously, at least in War Thunder. They're a little underpowered. Sometimes they blow up mid-course because they don't track properly. But in general, in general, they have been pretty damn nice. Now, I mean, in my opinion, the, the best feature about them will be the fact that they are fire fire and forget about it can't even think here um obviously that is going to be fantastic we have the enemy looks like back there somewhere not entirely sure got the kill we may have another one back there another great thing about this i mean this 20 millimeter auto cannon has been phenomenal genuinely it's just been excellent no complaints here i mean i've got two assists thus far a base cap and I'm about to move up no I'm not gonna move up because I have uh, laser warning okay it looks like we have some sort of an enemy somewhere and I think actually I see exactly where however unfortunately I uh, ran out of ammunition so let's go ahead and try this one more time I'm not gonna hit him but we do have some enemies way out there Okay, fire and forget about it. Ready in three, two, not a kill. Got an assist. You know, there are very few instances of victory without risk. And in this instance, I am about to risk it by going for the proverbial biscuit. Because I really want the B point and I am tired of their team hogging it. It's just rude in my opinion. So let's move up. I do what I can to cap. Looks like it is free and clear for the taking. Woof, buddy. Okay, so this is definitely a good sign. I'm going to move up a little bit, or move back a little bit, rather. And uh, hope that no one sees me. But I have got to stay on guard at all times here. Okay, we have an enemy right there. Ha whoa. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa, buddy. Someone's pissed off in another language. Woof! Okay, so let's move up. I am not in the mood to just sit still. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna move up here. I'm assuming I'll be seeing an enemy soon. Real soon. Maybe use some spike missiles? Yeah, I've got five assists? Holy guacamole. Now, you guys want to talk about a good match of playing support. This is it. Wow, I've got five assists, three base caps, and, I mean, uh, unbelievably good. Uh, you know, I mean, like, don't let anyone, like, tell you that, that you know, getting kills is the only thing that you can do in this game. Far from it. Uh, I am doing quite well here, and I also just got myself my first kill, somehow. Uh, somehow I didn't get a kill earlier. Now, some people might be like, oh, take it, done. You're spawn camping. There is literally nowhere else to go, and their entire team has quit. So where am I going to go? But thus far, I've gotten one kill, five assists, and three, three beautiful base caps. And now that these guys know exactly where I am, I'm about to die, I feel like. Maybe. Yeah, I'm about to die here. So I'll go ahead and... Scout this fella. And somehow I got another assist. Well, I guess two assists because one from the scout, one from the damage. So that said, a hell of a match. Almost 2,400 points. One kill, seven assists, three base cap. Let me know what you guys think about it. This thing is a great all-around vehicle. It can do anything you want except tank the enemy. But that said, thanks again. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone. Not a bad match.